Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn about the Modular Synth Preset Bank and how to use it to store uh, the settings for our Modular Synths into presets and how to recall them for later use. Okay, to create a Modular Synth Preset Bank, we right click in the Content Browser, navigate to Sounds, and then select the Modular Synth Preset Bank. We're going to give this preset bank a name. We're just going to call it um, Bank 1. Seems simple enough. Then I double click this to open it. And this is what we see when we first open up the preset bank. Just expand the preset arrow. And then we're going to add a preset by clicking on this plus button. The first thing we have to do is, is uh, give this preset a name. I'm going to call my first preset base. And I want you to note that this preset number is zero. Uh, so when we are referencing this preset later, this first preset is going to be zero. Now I can expand the preset arrow and I can adjust all of the settings for my modular synth here. The first thing I'm going to do is take out this uh, stereo delay. So I'm going to uncheck stereo delay enabled, scroll back to the top. This preset is named bass, so I should probably give it a fairly bassy sound. Both of my oscillators, uh, both of my oscillators, oscillator one and oscillator two, are set to saw. I'm going to take the octave down to minus two and minus one, respectively. That should be bassy enough. Now that's all the changes I'm going to make to my first preset. I am now going to add another preset, and you'll see that that preset will now be number one. And I'm going to call this high square and so i'm going to make this preset a couple of square waves and i'm going to set the octaves to one and uh, octave for oscillator two i'm going to set to two and the octave for oscillator one i'm going to set to one and that should be a fairly high sound so now that our preset bank is ready to go and we have our two presets to switch between, we'll now go into the blueprint and set up this preset bank so that we can use it. So let's go ahead and go into our synth blueprint. I'm going to get rid of what was left over from the last video here. And then I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call this bank reference. Over here in the top right, I'm going to make sure that my variable type is of the right type, and I'm just going to type in modular in the search bar, and the object you want is the modular synth preset bank, and you're going to select the object reference. And then we are going to compile, and when we compile, you'll see that we're getting an error, and that error is because this set synth preset node uh, has no input to the synth preset. That's okay. We're going to leave that for now. What we needed to happen was for this bank reference input value to show up. And this is where we can drop in our modular synth preset bank that we just created, which is called bank one. And that's going to hold references to the presets that we just created. So we drag our bank reference variable into the blueprint. We select get bank reference. Then we drag off of here and we type in get presets and I'm just going to drag this over here clean it up a little bit then we drag off of the array symbol from the presets and we select get a reference so what this is going to do is get a reference to one of the presets in here, which have been organized into a, an array. So you'll see here that there is a, a value in the get node, and we can input the number of the preset that we want to reference in that node. Then I'm going to drag off of the get node, and I'm going to select break modular synth preset bank entry. And when I do that, you're going to see that there are two outputs, the preset name and the preset. That's why we wanted that break node so that we could just get the preset and feed it into the input for our set synth preset node. 
Now, this get node is uh, the value in the get node is going to be which preset we're referencing. Currently, it is set to zero. So when I compile and play and uh, hit the one key, I should hear the synth play preset one, which is my base preset. So let's make sure that's working. I compile, no errors, and then I click play. And I'm going to press one. Sounds pretty bassy to me. All right, so that's working. Just to test this, let's make sure that we can also reference uh, my other preset, which is preset one, which is the high square preset. I set the get node value to one, which is going to reference preset one, compile, and I press Alt P to play. And now I press one. And well, you could hear there, I didn't turn off the stereo delay on my high square preset. That's okay, we're gonna leave that there for now and try to think of a more dynamic way that we can do this instead of having to go into the blueprint every time and change the number. As we did in the last video, we can of course create a public variable. So I'm gonna go and create a variable and I'm gonna call this preset. Make sure that it's set to the type integer. Make sure that I click on the icon here to make it public. Drag it into my blueprint select get preset, connect that to my get node, and then compile. And now when I go into the synth level and click on my synth BP, you're going to see a preset, a public variable uh, named preset in which I can enter the number of my preset. So let's go ahead and try this out and see if it works. So I hit one. Currently it's set to base. I'm going to Press Shift F1 to free up my mouse, select my synth BP, set my preset to one, click back into the scene, and now it's changed. First thing I'm gonna do is open up my preset bank and I'm gonna create two more presets. This preset name I'm going to call preset three. Preset three, there we go. And then create another one. I'm going to call this preset four and preset four octave. I'm going to set to minus two and then the oscillator two type. I'm going to set to triangle and I'm going to set the octave to one. Okay, so we have four presets now and we're going to associate those to the one, two, three and four keys on our keyboard. But first we have to get rid of the one key that we've been using to trigger our note on node. And instead we're going to use the space bar. So I'm going to right click, going to type in space bar and connect this back up to my note on node. Like so and connect the release to my note off node. Now the set synth preset, I'm going to drag up here, give myself some more room because I'm gonna need a lot of room to design this new system. Okay. So we have our variable here called preset and we basically want to set that number to whatever number we type. So we can do that really quick simply by right clicking, searching for a key one. And we are going to drag our preset variable into the blueprint, select set preset, connect that up and one is going to set the preset to zero because that's our first preset. Okay, and then we do a key two. Like so, and we can basically just control C and then control V, paste that. And we're gonna set this preset to one. And then we are going to do a key three. Control C, control V. Set this to two.
And we just need one more. I'm going to drag these up here. Key four. Control C, Control V. And we're going to set this to preset three. All right, so let's just check if this works real quick. Okay, so I'm going to compile. Everything's good. We're going to play. Okay, I'm going to hit spacebar just to make sure that I can play something. Okay, great. That's the default setting, uh, the default preset. I'm going to press the one key on my keyboard. That should set the preset to my first preset, which is bass. Let's see if that worked. That did not work. So let's troubleshoot this. Now, the reason that did not work, let's see, is because uh, my space bar, which presses, which when I press it, triggers my note on, does not trigger my set synth preset note, which grabs the preset from the bank reference here. So I actually need my execution line to go from the spacebar pressed execution event to the set synth preset node and now this should work. So let's play. And when I press one, I should get bass. When I press two, I should get my high square preset. When I press three, I should get preset three. And when I press four, I should get preset four. Okay, so uh, we can actually make this even a little more intuitive and give us some better feedback. What I wanna do is print the name of the preset to the screen every time I press one of the number keys to change which preset I'm using. So this is going to give me some visual feedback that will tell me uh, exactly what the preset changed to every time I press the number. And this is actually really easy to do. Remember this uh, break modular synth preset bank entry? Well, that actually has an output which uh, outputs the preset name that it's getting from the bank reference variable. All we have to do is hook into that somehow with a print string node. So I'm going to right click, type in print, select the print string node, and then drag from the preset name output into my print string node. And then all we have to do is trigger it every time we press one of the numbers. So I'm going to connect the output of each of these key press execution pins to my print string node. I'm going to compile and we play and I'm going to press one. And there you see at the top left of the screen, every time I press the number, it prints out the name of the preset that I'm currently using. So I'm currently on high square. I press the space bar to trigger my synth. Cool. I switch to my bass and there's my bass. So there you have it. I hope you learned something about the modular synth preset banks and hope you learned some useful hints and tips for how to use them. Be sure to check out my next video in which we explore modular patch assignments. Thanks everyone.